Hey guys, this is Golden Nova with another episode of Whatever Comes to Mind. First off, I want to give a shout out to Pooj99, aka Babyface Pete. And uh, I've got to say, any Yugi Cuber who uses two nines at the end of their name is a. Uh, they're good in my book. But, uh, but more objectively, uh, I like Pooj99 because of his rants, I have to say. They're, uh, they're simple and they get to the point, and he's not afraid to say what needs to be said. And this has been exemplified in one of his latest videos, Sub for Sub, which basically talks about the people who ask you to sub for them because they sub for you. And I agree with this wholeheartedly. Um, basically, subs are how YouTubers rate each other, as with most YouTube-related communities. Uh, you know, more subscribers, good. Not Less subscribers, not so much. Um... And if we start just doing the sub-for-sub sub system, where it's like, oh, I subbed you, I'll sub for you, you rub my back, I rub yours, subs lose all meaning. Because it's just this minor little exchange that doesn't mean anything. So uh, kudos to Pooj99, and shout-out links will be in the description. Um, so on to the main point of the video. I am going to talk about the big thing on everyone's mind at this time of the format, and that is the ban lists. And uh, I'm not going to be telling people what I think is going to be in or out because really it just fuels all this hype which either overvalues or undervalues cards which plays on some people's fears as to what they can use later on. No, instead I'm going to talk about the stigma of the ban list. And, you know, almost everywhere I go to people are, uh, they're very angry about the ban list or at least they're depressed about it because things are getting banned and they can't use it. And I can understand that. I mean, if someone told me that I couldn't use Machinas, which they're probably going to do later, um, then I'd be feeling pretty bad about it because I sank my time, money, or trades into this deck, and now I can't use it to its fullest advantage, at least. Um, but at the same time, the ban list, along with taking away some things, also gives back some things. Uh, like, remember when they gave us back all our Smashing Grounds? That changes the format considerably, so th that's my argument that the ban lists create more opportunities than they close, if you know what I mean. Um, but there is a downside to it, on, uh, in my opinion, and that is when powerful cards, or at least cards that are powerful in the context of certain decks, are banned, which leaves the lower end decks, which means that these cards aren't as powerful in that context, that they're gone. Um... Let's talk about uh let's talk about Summoner Monk. Now, for I don't want to say veteran players, it wasn't that long ago, but there was a time where DSF was abused to do the OTK, and the main part of that engine was using Summoner Monks to uh, get sync fodder onto the field, sync up for DSF, blow the field. Um, but spellcasters need Summoner Monk. They need that ability to get spellcasters onto the field so that they can have that field advantage. Mostly so that they can have things that can uh, generate spell counters to take advantage of effects. But now they can't do that because of DSF. And when DSF was over, then Synchro Cat took over, which also abused Rescue Cat, uh, as did DSF. Um, the point is, is that the ban lists, while being good for higher tier decks as it forces people to be more creative... Uh, it takes away the options that the lower tier decks really need because they don't have a lot of them. Um, so yeah, those are my points. Uh, I'm Golden Nova, and I'm here's hoping that you benefit from this ban list.